Zuper is very excited to preview our new integration with HubSpot Sales. As you may know, Zuper has had an integration with HubSpot Service Hub for quite a while. We have recently introduced a new integration for Zuper and HubSpot Sales as well. In this brief overview, we will go through a overview demonstration of how the integration between the two products works. So the first thing we'll do is select a deal that we need to do a little work on uh, before the deal can be com considered completely closed. So the deal that we're working on is Bellevue Security and Surveillance. And as you can see over here on the right hand side in the upper corner, that there is an integration available for opening a job in Zuper. Uh, and there's a button that will allow us to automatically create a job in Zuper from within HubSpot. So I'm going to go ahead and create a job within Zuper by clicking on the Create Job button in the HubSpot window. And as you will see, a new window um, opens up with some of information already filled in. First thing I'm going to do is choose a job category. I'm going to say this is going to be a commercial installation. I want the priority to be high. And as you can see in the middle of the screen here, an option pops up that will allow me to use assisted scheduling, which will help me identify the time slots that are available during which the work could be done. And even more specifically, if I want, it will help me identify the technicians that are available for those time slots as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the use assisted scheduling button. And you'll notice that uh, there are several time slots that come up uh, as available for today, the 17th, as well as the next few days. And it's for all teams. And it's for the, right now we're looking at just the slot view. That is the available time slots. I don't want to look at all teams. However, I want to look at the Las Vegas branch teams because the customer is in the Las Vegas area. So in the Las Vegas branch, there are a number of uh, time slots available again over the next few days, but I want to see what resource is available specifically and when that resource is available to do the work. And as you can see, the only resource, uh, resource that's available to get the work done today is Vinny and he's available between 4.30 and 8.30 p.m. this evening. So I'm going to go ahead and say use this schedule. So it will assign Vinny the job for today between about 4.30 and 8.30 p.m. I'm going to put in a very brief installation uh, or excuse me, a description of the job. And I will scroll down and now I'll pick the specific customer location where I know the work needs to be done. So I'm going to click uh, Miles Manager. He's a store manager in the downtown Las Vegas area. And as you can see, as soon as I picked him, the uh, customer's address is automatically populated. So now I will go ahead and click on the Create Job button in HubSpot. And as we'll see momentarily, that will automatically create a job in Zuper. Returning to the HubSpot main screen now, again, we can see uh, the option to view more details about the job in the upper right hand corner. And as you can see, there's a scheduled start time for this evening. The technician Vinny has been assigned. And furthermore, if we take advantage of the uh, actions drop down, we can see more details about the job that has been created. There's the primary uh, details about the job. The the uh, job title, the type of job that it is, the priority, the schedule time, etc. The job description, where the job is to be done, and who the lucky technician is who gets to do the job on Sunday evening. Now, as we switch over to the Zuper application from the HubSpot application, you can see that job number 92, which was just created in the HubSpot application, has indeed been created in the Zuper application. And there is a great deal of detail in this job, a record based upon the information that we provided in the HubSpot application. So we can see it's a new job. The job details are all shown here, same details as we looked at in the HubSpot application including the service address. There is a picture on the map of where the, lo uh, where the customer location is. As you can see, there's a link in the Zuper job um, record back to the HubSpot uh, application itself. We can see the job schedule. 
the uh, SLA duration, the service level agreement duration that this customer has, the employees that are assigned, the customer name, the customer phone number, and the customer address. So all of the information that we filled out in the HubSpot application has been automatically and immediately carried over to the uh, uh, Zuper application as well. Now we're looking at the uh, technician's, Vinny's mobile device and the details about the job that we have just created that are showing up on the mobile device. The first thing that we want to do is change the status. Vinny has already acknowledged that he has this job in his queue. So we're going to go ahead and change the status now so that Vinny says that I am on my way there. So we'll update that status and it will ask me for a approximate arrival time. I'll say that I'm going to be there in 15 minutes and I will go ahead and update that status. Uh, Vinny can take advantage of using some maps if he needs to, to uh, navigate his way to the customer. In this particular case, it's not necessary, so we'll cancel. And now Vinny has updated the status of the job to say that he is on my way and the customer can be automatically notified via some notification capabilities that are inherent in Zuper as well. Returning back to the Zuper application and the job record in Zuper, if we scroll down again to the bottom where we saw the link back to HubSpot, we can click on that open link and it will take us back directly to the HubSpot screen that we were originally on. And I want to draw your attention to a couple of things on the left. There is some information on the left-hand side as well about the field visit. It is saying that uh, Vinny is on his way. Vinny is the technician, and there's the scheduled date and time. And again, back over to the right corner, if we view more, we see the same data that we've seen before about the scheduled date and time and who is assigned. But now, in addition to seeing the details about the job, I can also see the route the technician will have to take to get to the job. And this route is visible to the HubSpot people in the HubSpot application. Returning now to the main HubSpot screen, we can see a number of updates that have been automatically synced from Zuper. So starting over on the left hand side, we can see that the job is now closed and there's the uh, scheduled date and time. Moreover, on the right hand side, we can see in the action screen under view details, we can not only see the information about the job, the primary information about the job, but we can see any job notes that were added by the technician. And as you can see, the field technician added via his mobile device a note that the installation is complete. He took a picture of one of the devices that was installed and he actually went ahead and recorded a short note about the work that he had done. Moreover, you can see all of the job activity that has been recorded by the technician and by anyone touching the job in Zuper. So the latest information here at the top is that the job was closed, uh, the work was completed, the technician added a note, he added a picture, he added a commercial security installation uh, service job, he added uh, a complete industrial alarm system to the job. So there's a variety of information that the technician recorded that is visible in the HubSpot application for the users of HubSpot itself. So having seen this brief overview, we hope you will agree that the integration of Zuper with HubSpot, not only Service Hub, but HubSpot Sales will provide HubSpot users with a complete 360 degree view of all support activities, including field support activities that are offered to their customers. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.